We have all heard that drinking water is good for us. Some of us carry bottles that remind us how much we need to drink. Some of us have probably participated in health challenges focused solely on drinking water. Some of us probably have devices that tell us to drink water. We know we need to, but sometimes we forget exactly why, and sometimes water just gets boring. Let's talk about that. Why is water good for us and the beverage of choice? Bottom line, all of the cells that make up our bodies require water to maintain balance and function and to grow and reproduce. Our bodies are 60 to 70% water and we use it a lot. A couple of ways our bodies use water include chewing and digesting food as a shock absorber, absorber for the brain and spinal cord and water lubricates our joints and helps keep them operational. Water can help flush bodies of toxins, help us stay alert, and often satisfi satisfies a craving we mistake as hunger when it's really thirst. All of these and other benefits of drinking water boil down to one thing. It makes us feel better. It is a commonly held belief that eight glasses of water is the goal amount for us to consume each day. While this is a good starting point, the amount of water our bodies needs varies based on a variety of factors. First, climate. The hotter it is, the more water we lose through perspiration and the more important it is to replace that water frequently. Higher altitudes may also require a higher level of water consumption. Activity level is another factor. Those who exercise frequently or at high intensity and those whose jobs require more physical activity may need to drink more water than those who do not. Kidney function may have an impact on the amount of water you need to consume. Water is an important factor in keeping kidneys functioning at a healthy level, but individuals with kidney problems should consult their doctor about the safest amount of water for their bodies. Many people like to shoot for a goal each day with their water intake. There are specific formulas available that will help you find a more exact amount that is right for your body. Those are mentioned on the reference slide at the end of this presentation. However, in general, 60 to 80 ounces is a good range to think about in order to avoid dehydration. You can also observe your urine color. Light yellow or clear indicates a healthy hydration level. An important thing to remember is to just pay attention to your body. Our bodies know when they are thirsty. When you feel thirst, your body is craving water. Practice paying attention to those signals as well as to how you feel throughout the day. Don't like water? Struggle to drink it? Here are some tips that may help you learn to like water and make it a consistent part of your day. Start your day with water. The first place most people usually go when they wake up is to the bathroom. Have a bottle of water waiting there and take four to six gulps of water. Starting your day with water puts it on the brain immediately and you might be surprised. It might help you wake up. Throughout the day, keep your bottle or glass of water close by, if not right in front of you. If you see it, you'll be more likely to drink it periodically throughout the day. If you find yourself struggling, try something a little different. Some people find success using a straw. Add ice. Take away the ice. Others like to switch up their bottles or glasses. Find things that make drinking water more enjoyable for you. In addition, Adding flavor to your water can make it more interesting and sometimes easier to drink. It is best to only add natural flavoring. Think lemon, cucumber, lime, or mint. Finally, make it a group effort. Involve your friends, coworkers, or family in a challenge to drink more water. There are also many smartphone apps, games, and devices designed to help you track water intake, which may help motivate you to keep at it. There are many resources out there to teach you about the benefits of water and to suggest tips and fun ways to make sure you're getting enough. One I want to point out is the quiz in your MyWellCheck profile. You can log into your MyWellCheck profile through wellness.eku.edu. Once logged in, go to Health Quizzes. The presentation on water will provide additional information as well as the formula to help you figure out how much water you need daily based on your body weight. As an added bonus, you will earn 10 points towards the quarter by completing this quiz.
And if you have questions, please feel free to contact me.